Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Have another golf ball review for you today, and today is the Wilson Duo Optics Golf Ball. So these come in really bright, fun colors. It's Wilson's inexpensive two-piece golf ball, uh, $22.99 a dozen. Um, they come in all kinds of different colors, like I said, in the matte versions. And then they also do have a Duo uh, Soft Plus, which is the regular golf ball version of this. There is a little difference in compression, but overall still the same amount of dimples, uh, same golf ball basically but just slight differences there and I think really it just comes down to the matte cover I don't think the compression is quite as low um, this one being at a 40 the Duo Soft Plus actually at a 35, so very close. Um, but as I said, these come in really fun colors. You can see this bright yellow already. This is uh, becoming the way of golf, actually. You're seeing this with a lot more golf ball companies. Fun colors, interesting things, you know, neon, bright colors, uh, red, green, yellow, you name it. Um, I love it. I love to see that, love the personalization. It's also a lot easier to see your golf ball a lot of the time. If you're someone who hits in the high rough, it's a lot easier to find a lime green or a yellow than it is to find just a white. Sometimes it gets hidden. Um, so, let's start off with the design of the golf ball here. So, Wilson has had some really big hits so far, and they've also had some stinkers, unfortunately, uh, just depending on the golf ball. It's been a roller coaster, and I mean, I'm talking the highest peaks and the lowest lows. So, uh, hopefully this one can maintain. I've heard really good things. But starting with the design of the golf ball, if you look on the front there, you've got Wilson's logo, which, of course, is always nice. I love the black, just the, the simple matte black on there. Not too flashy. I love it. The, the Wilson and logo with the cursive is good and then they have that old style you know uh looks like a, a suburban family house number right there with that three um overall looks really good love the matte finish there it even has a little bit of shine to it so they might have actually coated it with a little bit of something um and then if you look on the side there the alignment tool unfortunately is a little bit uh, uh more to be desired there um it, it actually i do like how symmetrical it is i will give it that i'm not one for liking just the regular letters when you're lining up your golf ball but at least it is symmetrical. Some companies, and even Wilson's been guilty of this, you know, the Wilson is really big and then the Duo's small and then, you know, like it's you're trying to line it up and the words are different sizes. It makes it really difficult. But this one at least is completely symmetrical all the way around. It's a perfect square pretty much when it comes to how level everything is. So I like that. Um, yeah, overall, just a very simplistic design. Really what Wilson's doing here with this one is bright colors. That's the name of the game. That's specifically the optics line. So overall, decent ball design. Let's get out to the uh, chipping and putting green and let's see how it does around the green. All right, so out here on the chipping and putting green with the Wilson Duo Optics Golf Ball. And with this one right here, it's already, I'm gonna tell you, it is matte. So with the matte finish, I've noticed I don't get as much checkup a lot of the time. And that was the case here with this one. It just didn't check up as much as I would have liked it to. I mean, it had a tiny bit, but honestly, you can see there in, in that, that graphic I showed you, that's kind of about where it's at. Um, so it's okay, but especially after just testing the Wilson Tour Velocity, which is a cheaper golf ball and uh, a little bit firmer, I was surprised that, that this one didn't have have a little bit more because that tour velocity had a, a very good healthy amount um, so a little disappointed in that but you know honestly there's a lot of forgiveness in it it seems to go the same distance it doesn't you know shoot off left or right if you if you leave the face open or close it a little bit on chips um, so the less spin is going to get you that at least um, on the putter i was a little disappointed just because as far as the bouncy ball effect it's great it really springs off the putter nice i really enjoyed that but the feeling it just feels dead when it comes off the center um, it just doesn't have a really great feel to it as far as it just feels like it doesn't spring off as well as it could even though it does but it just doesn't sound like it or feel like it and hits off the toe are the same so actually if you miss hit it off the toe it feels exactly the same as if you hit it off the center so it's not going to offer you any feedback feedback in that regard and with this golf ball being a two-piece more of an intermediate beginner ball i think that that's something they really needed there so around the green nothing horrific by any means but honestly i was a little disappointed i expected more okay so hopefully these numbers are a little better just because it wasn't necessarily a bad experience on the green, but I was hoping for just a little bit more. It was a little lackluster, uh, but maybe these numbers will help with that. So let's dive in first. Uh, before we get started, I'll tell you about the feel of the golf ball. It feels soft. Uh, a lot of golf companies are going toward these really soft compression numbers. Wilson has been known to be, you know, the, the most exaggerated form of this. I mean, they go 35 compression, and I think their, their softest ever is 29 compression. You know, they're really trying to get it just super, super, Super soft. Uh, that way that core really bounces. That way there's a, a high level of forgiveness. So that's one thing to look out for during this review. Does this golf ball forgive a lot? So we'll be taking a look at that. Let's dive into the nine iron here and see what we have. Um, so, all right. So then let's dive into those nine iron numbers. First off, we've got 
uh, 92.6 on your ball mile per hour speed. That is slightly above average. 126.7 on the total distance, uh, which is slightly, slightly below average. And then 120.6, same thing. I mean, just basically average. So I almost wonder if this golf ball does spin a lot with the nine iron just because I had a really good amount of ball speed, but I didn't gain as much distance. We'll also take a look here at the launch angle, 24. So it did launch a little high, so that might have something to do with it too. But 24 isn't astronomical. I've had golf balls go a little higher than that even. Um, so I would say probably the golf ball is just spinning quite a bit. Uh, even having the mat, I think it's spinning really good. So I think it's just going to hold a green. Um, moving into the seven iron, 5,916 on the spin, which is actually a little lower than my average would normally be, so it's a low spinning golf ball. And holy cow, check that number out, 110.1, that is fast. That is fast, fast, fast. The ball is compressing at a really high level there. I love that. Um, that's way above average. And then if you look at the total distance, 165.3, that is way higher than what I normally get with a seven iron. 154.9, just on the, the carry alone, it's very rare for me to get 150 carry out of a seven iron. Most of the time it's 148, 149, somewhere in there. Really great number there. And then a 17.5 on the launch angle. So that's kind of like basically a mid, just a little, you know, mid low somewhere in there. Great launch angle. It's going to penetrate really well, and um, it, it's it spins enough to at least stay on the green. It may not, you know, grip like you would hope it would, but as far as a distance ball, got a lot more there. That's awesome. Moving into the five uh, hybrid, four thousand three hundred ninety-one on the spin there. And then uh, that's a, a little above average, so it's spinning a little above average. And then 114.7, that's a little lower than what I normally get. 185.7, 170.7. Those numbers are a little less, but I don't necessarily hate them. And I'll tell you why. The reason I don't hate them is just because the launch angle there, you'll notice, is 15.8. Um, with the hybrid, sometimes I have trouble with the golf ball not staying on the green because you're hitting it at such a fast speed, and sometimes you don't get enough height on the golf ball, and so it just ends up hitting and rolling past the green. So actually losing a little bit of distance and gaining the launch angle helped me quite a bit. I like that. Um, you know, and honestly, it doesn't create as much as a gapping issue. So as far as ball speed, it didn't do as well, but as far as a gapping issue, it really helped me out a lot. So I'm not really gonna dive too much in there. I, I think overall, those are still good numbers. I wouldn't let them dictate your opinion on the golf ball one way or the other. And then of course, diving into the big stick. So. I'm going to tell you these numbers real quick, and then I'm going to tell you something amazing about them. I'm so excited about this. This is cool. So starting off with the spin, 2,566 on the spin. That is the lowest I have ever tested by far. That is the lowest amount of spin. So but golf ball really is penetrating. It's not, you know, ballooning. 238.6 on the um the distance, 134.4 on your ball speed, and on carry, 218.3. Now those numbers, as far as the ball speed, is a little higher than average, but the uh, distances are a little lower than average, mainly because of the 13.4 launch, which is a low launch for a driver. Um, so those numbers are, for the most part, they're, they're average to good, right? Those numbers are average to good. But the reason I'm excited about those driver numbers, those are all with 10 shots, none of them deleted. So if you watch my channel, you know that most of the time I take about 10 to 13 shots somewhere in there, and then I delete, you know, three or four of them, five of them, depending on if they're complete miss hits or if they're terrible, or I just didn't launch the golf ball I wanted to the way I wanted to. Um, however, these were 10 hits that were not all perfect. That's the level of forgiveness with this golf ball. Um, I could not believe how well it forgave me. Um, miss hits off the toe with the driver, I lost maybe seven yards. Uh, miss hits off the inside, I lost maybe five yards. I mean, that is a phenomenal level of forgiveness. It was incredible. And I, I, I honestly just thought, I, I don't even need to delete these numbers. I mean, there was a couple I could have deleted, and I can assure you that if I had deleted the worst ones, this would be one of the top performing golf balls, period. It would be up there at the top. I just didn't feel a need to because these are the numbers, vanilla, with no sorting through them or anything like that. That's just pure 10 hits. Some of them were missed hits. Some of them were not great, and they still averaged those numbers. So that's phenomenal. Um, this is a golf ball I would definitely recommend to people who need forgiveness because it's you're going to be able to play a much more consistent game. And there was a lot of consistency with this golf ball. Okay, so those numbers are all really great. I'm glad, you know, when I had the experience around the green at first, I was kind of a little nervous because, like I said at the beginning, 
Wilson's been up and down. I mean, it's been some of the best golf balls I've tested, and it's been some of the worst golf balls I've tested. Um, actually, no, I, I take that back. It's actually been the best golf ball I've tested, and it actually has been the worst golf ball I tested. So it's been both. So um, having this one have those numbers is really good. I love that. Uh, let's get into durability just real quick before I, I use my closing thoughts. So uh, durability wise it really performed well um, you know the matte finish really kept it from scuffing now you can see the scuffing on there you can see that it's got a little bit of red on there and it definitely broke the outer layer but nothing super like deep uh, my poor golf dot didn't make it very well but as far as the rest of it it just feels good you could definitely continue to use this this is after about 50 to 60 shots um, so love that really performed well the wedges didn't tear it up at all um, I would have to give that like a four and a half out of five or a four out of five somewhere in there. Really good durability. I just love that. And even if I was to wash this golf ball, it would take a lot of that off and it would probably look pretty brand new. So love that. So closing thoughts, who's this golf ball for and uh, would I recommend it? Well, anybody in the moderate swing speed like myself, 92 mile an hour with the driver and below, um, I can for sure say that it is a phenomenal golf ball. It springs off really well. It has a phenomenally soft feel. So if you love that, um, it definitely feels soft. I can tell you the 40 compression. <laughs> I'm interested to see how the Duo Soft Plus performs just because of it's five less. Uh, but again, it has a, a pretty decent design. I do wish the, the alignment tool was a little better just because other companies are starting to really ramp up that part of their game. But from a number standpoint, it was so forgiving. It forgave all miss hits really well. I didn't have to delete that many shots. Um, and then, you know, the nine iron was a, a good performance. And then from there on, everything was pretty great. Uh, seven iron performed phenomenally. Driver was phenomenal. So if you're a intermediate to beginner player and you love a soft feel um, and you do like Wilson golf balls, I would definitely recommend it. Even if you haven't tried a Wilson before, this one's a good one to start out with. $22.99 a dozen is really cheap for Walmart or anywhere you're going to get a dozen of them. The fact that you can get the different colors, I love it. Um, it's honestly a really good golf ball. I don't know how it compares to some of the other ones just because I'd have to go in there and look and do, but that's a video for a later date. But as far as just being a standalone golf ball, really enjoyed using it and I definitely recommend it. Guys, as always, keep watching to keep saving and keep learning. Uh, more golf ball reviews coming your way.